Welcome to Trains Around Scotland for December 2022. Wasting no time, let's get right into the action. So first it's off to Slateford on the first of the month for some locomotive services class 37 action, but first was 6B37, 1715 View Part 2 Oxwell Main Cement with 7804. Passing soon after was 6M50, the 1726 Tornest to Carlisle King Moore flasks with 88010 leading 007. Then finally at night was OZ47, 1744 Joppa straight to Carlisle with 37688 dragging 47614 that had failed on these statesmen the day before. Then it's to Carluke on the 8th for a Royal Mail 325 drag, working 1M44, 1625 Shield Muir to Warrington with backbone livery 90039 dragging a double set of 325s. To the very east of the West Coast Main Line now on the 7th, and before the day had even started, issues of a broken track in between Oxnome and Carlisle, meaning the Edinburgh Festive Special Rail Tour would be 94 minutes late passing Curry Hill, working 1Z68. Lancaster to Edinburgh was supposed to pass at 10.45 but ended up passing at 12.19, 47826 and 802 providing a power. Then from extremely late to extremely early for the next train would be OS50. The 1550 turn up at 12.40 at Carlisle NY2 Miller Hill with DB66192. Then finally at Curry Hill was 4 Echo 04. Delay 1237, Doncaster to Moss End, operated with Ukrainian liveries 66704, as well as a newer style of Stobart containers, which are currently unique to this flow. Then it would be to Kings now for 6 Echo 30, the 1439 Dalzell 2 Tees Yard Empty Steel Train for 66074.
finally that night was OZ47. Early 1600, Carlisle to Joppa Strait, with 47804 sent to rescue 37676 that had been declared a failure and would drag it down later that night. Into the Clyde Valley now on the 8th for a rather frosty day where first would be 4S52. Early 1220, crew bass were hauled to Coatbridge Flats of 90s 008 and 016 seen here near Bodsbury. Then it would be into the Beatock Summit for the Blue Pullman, working 1Z45, 1203 Watford Junction to Edinburgh with 43046 leading 055. Elvin Foot next for 6S48, early 1255, Port of Workington to Aberdeen Waterloo Sluddies with 78814. Then in possibly the most backlit conditions ever at Abington Loops, 6S48 would continue north on time at 12.45. Then it would be to Abington Curve for 4S43, 1311 Damdre to Moss and Tesco Express with 66434 and 122. Unfortunately, the sunshine will not be hanging around that Crawford curve. For 4L10, the 1415 Coatbridge to Tilbury with 66425. Sunday the 11th now and it's too plain to have a look at the official second ever commercial train to Blackford, seen here on its return working being 4Z51, the 1314 Blackford freight terminal to Moss End with quite an impressive load and 68008 leading 006. Then finally that day would be 6K20, 1400 Abbeymore to Miller Hill Engineers train with 66545 and 10 auto balusters including some of the tube branded autos in the consist.
a rare sight to be had at Paisley Gilmer Street the day after on the 12, with the removal of all Class 380s from service due to fears that some of them may have frozen brake valves, prompted the use of Class 156s on the few remaining Ayrshire services that were still running, with one example being 1K68, 2226 air to Glasgow Central, formed of 156434. Soon to be followed by the recently repainted HNRC 37607, working 3Q03, 2250 Falkland 2 slate for depot whilst on hire to Colas. to the 18th now at Bailiston, where we would see a bit of sleeper action starting with the light locos from Craig and Tenney, with 73966 working OB16, passing a mere 48 minutes late at 11.38 heading to Pomodi. Then to follow would be OM16, the delayed 11.12 Miller Hill to Palmody via Craig and Tinney Light Loco with 73.970 leading 66.701. Then it would be to Cumbernauld now for first 5B16. Delayed 1200, now 1320, Palmody to Aberdeen Empty Sleepers with 73966 again. Then would be another extremely delayed train, being OZ60, Motherwell TMD to Thornton TC, with both XDB sheds 66091 and 122. <laughs> then finally on this day would be 5M16, delayed 1300, now 1330, Palmody to Inverness with 66701, leading 73972. Up early on the 19th and to Hillington West before the station lights had even switched on for 6k30, early 0518 turned up at 0438 Paisley down Goods Loop to Miller Hill with 56096 leading a rail drop train. Hartwood now on the 22nd, where first to be seen would be 4Echo 4, the 1201 Moss NPD Sterling to Doncaster Airport, with Royal Scotsman 66743 seen performing a running brake test.
next to follow as a bit of PLPR action, or so was thought. However, this month's PLPR was in fact an NMT. So here we see 37's 175 and 099 working 1Q26. The 1229 Moss End to Edinburgh vice the usual 1Q75 circuit. With the end to the Yorkshire RHTT for 2022, DRS 37s are becoming more regularly available, with more 37 action being found here at Cartland with DRS's 37422, Dragon 66433 on 4Z80, 1323 Motherwell TMD to Carlisle King Moor flat move. Then soon after was 6T45, car stairs to Rutherglen via Slateford Route Learner with DR73916. <laughs> then was 4L10, delayed 1319, Coatbridge to Tilbury, operated with 88005. Soon to follow would be 6S48, delayed 1316 Port of Warkington to Aberdeen Waterloo with 7810. Then with the darker clouds setting in, this would be 4Z27, rescheduled Moss End to Daventry, Russell's Intermodals, operating with 68009 and 006. Finally that day would be 4Z43, 1329, Daventry to Moss End, Tesco Express with 66, 431 and 434. To the 28th now, and first it's to Camelon for 4N30, the 1523 Moss End to Grangemouth with 66076. Polmont now on the same day, and due to this being the day before the bonus Winter Diesel Gala, we see OS60, the 1624 Jarrow Tyne Coal Terminal to bonus with 60021. <laughs> 
60021 was breaking records this day with being the first ever GBRF liveried 60 to Scotland. Seen here returning back through Polmont after reversing at Grangemouth Junction at 1643. Then finally to round out the video, this is Bone S with a quick look at the 60 working 1M37. 0930, Bone S to manual with 60021 leading 47643. If any of you are interested in more detail about the Bone S Gala, there is a link to the video in the description.